Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this uh, video, I'm going to do the solutions of the exercise worksheet on trigonometric equations. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to Maths with Armin. I hope you will enjoy the uh, explanations of the solutions. I'm briefly going to discuss the solutions of the exercise worksheet uh, on the um, video lesson on trigonometric equations. Now let's look at the first question. The first question is adapted from a November 2015 paper. And this is actually grade 11 level, right? So it can be assessed in grade 12 uh, because it's based on uh, trigonometric content taught in grade 11. The first one there, uh, this one sort of helps you into the solution. First of all, you're given an expression, and then you have to simplify it, and then you have to use the simplified version and find the general solution of that specific equation. So here we can see there we've simplified it. 1 minus cosine squared, use identity sine squared. Cosine of 90, it's a co-ratio that gives me negative. 4 sine and the sine cancels with the sine squared there and I get a negative a quarter sine a. Now we take the negative uh, a quarter sine a e equated to 0, 0,21, right? Transpose the negative uh, a quarter to the uh, right side, so I get sine a equal to negative 0, 0,84. Find the reference angle. This is uh, the sine ratio is negative. Where is it negative? It's negative in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So you calculate the fourth, uh, the third quadrant, calculate the fourth quadrant, but we want a general solution. So you add the generating term there, k times 360. And don't forget to add a k element of integers there. Now let's look at the uh, second question here. You want to determine the general solution of cosine squared, e cos squared of half x equal to a quarter cosine squared of half x equal to a quarter. So to get rid of the square, I find the square root, but we get plus or minus, and, be, and then I can get my reference angle using the half, and that gives me 60 degrees. Because I have plus and minus positive in two quadrants, negative in two quadrants, so it's actually all four quadrants that we require there. So the first quadrant is half x equal to 60, and to simplify that, x is equal to 120 plus k times 720. The next one here, I want the second quadrant, so it's 180 minus 60, which is 120. Half x is equal to 120 plus k times 360, so x is 240 plus k times 720. Next one, half equal to our third quadrant is 180 plus 60, which is 240. So uh, half x equal to 240, so x is equal to... 480 plus k times 720. Fourth quadrant is 360 minus 60, which is 300. So if that's half equal to 300 plus k times 360, the generating term there. So x will be equal to 600 plus k times 720. And we mustn't forget to state that k is an element of the integers. Now let's look at the next question here. We want to find the general solution of negative 2 tan of 1 and a half x equal to 2. So first of all there, there's the equation. What can we do? We can simplify this by transposing the negative 2. So tan of 1 and a half x is equal to negative 1. We find the reference angle. And that's 45 degrees. Where's tangent negative? Tangent is negative in the second and uh, fourth quadrant because of tangent we only consider the first two quadrants so let's take the second quadrant 180 minus 45 degrees is equal to 135 degrees and then to find x we divide everything by one and a half therefore x is equal to 90 plus also the 180 divided by one and a half that is equal to k times 120 and we mustn't forget k is an element of the integers let's look at the question number four we have sine x minus 30 is equal to cosine of 2x. I've got co-ratio, so I can change the cosine to sine using 90, sine 90 minus x. Right, the ratios are the same. Now, where's sine positive? Sine is positive in the, that's correct, the first and the second. So for the first, I just put the left hand, 
angle on the left side x minus 30 equal to the 90 minus 2x because I want a general solution I add the generating term we then solve for x that becomes 3x 90 plus 30 is 120 we divide everything by 3 and x is equal to 40 degrees plus 120 k and k is an element of the integers the other one we want to find the second quadrant so the angle on the left side is x minus 30 equal to 180 minus 90 minus 2x be careful with removing the brackets so that becomes a plus 2x transpose it become a negative x and 180 minus 90 is 90 90 plus 30 is 120 divide everything with a negative and therefore there we have the general solution x equal to 40 plus k times 120 or x is equal to negative 120 minus k times 360 where k is an element of the integers let's look at this uh, question here here we want to uh, find the general solution of 2 sine 2x equal to negative cos of 2x. We notice there the angles are the same and I've got co-ratio so I can divide everything by cosine of in this case of 2x and sine of a cosine becomes tangent. Cosine of a cosine gives me a 1. Make tangent 2x the subject that gives me negative a half. The reference angle I get there is 26,57. Tangent is negative in the second and fourth because I want general solution I only take the first two quadrants so the second 180 minus 26,57 becomes um, <coughs> and then I must divide everything by 2 so 2 goes into 180 gives me 90 don't forget to enter k is the element of the set of integers there Let's look at this one here. We've got 3 sine x equal to 2 tangent of x, and we want a specific solution. Okay, so there I've got 3 sine x equal to 2 tan of x. I divide the, the tangent, there's an identity. I write it as sine over cosine. Multiply both sides by cosine. I get 3 sine x cosine x equal to 2 sine x. Transpose that, I get it equal to 0. For the zero product, we want the factors. I take out sine x as a common factor. So sine x can be zero or cosine x is equal to two over three. Sine is equal to zero or two places. So zero and 180, that fits in the interval there. And then the reference angle is 48,19. Cosine is positive in the first and the fourth. So my angle is 48,19. And x cannot be equal to three, uh, 311,81 also want to find negative angle so I can generate that I can say 180 minus 360 will give me negative 180 and I can take uh, 311,81 subtract 360 that gives me negative 48,19 and I've got my zero degrees there there's my 48,19 is one of the solution and then I also have the 180 so that's our specific solution Let's take another question, very similar here, slight difference here. I've got 3 cosine x equal to, 2 cosine x equal to 3 tan x. I convert the tangent to using the identity sine of a cosine. Multiply both sides by cosine. I get 2 cosine squared x minus 3 sine x. I have to do a, another identity. Identity for cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared. I simplify that by removing the brackets and I get a trinomial 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x minus 2. Trinomial can be factorized. Each factor can be equal to 0. For the first one here, sine x is a half, so the reference angle is 30. And I want a general solution. Sine is positive in the first, so x can be 30 plus k times 360. And in the second, it's 180 minus 30, which is 150 plus k times 360. If we look at sine x equal to negative 2, uh, sine is not defined there, so there's no solution there. So there we have the general solution. Let's consider this example here. I've got 2 sine x cosine x minus cosine x equal to 0. So I'll try the 0 product. I need to get factors. Cosine, fac cosine x is the common factor. So cosine x can be 0. 2 sine x minus 1 equal to 0. That means sine x equal to a half. Cosine is 0 at 90 degrees and 270, but 270 is outside, so I have not equal. 
the reference angle is 30. I can get uh, another uh, ang angle where sine is positive. Sine is positive in the second, so 180 minus 30 is 150. So 30 is within the interval, 150 is within the interval, and 90. I want some negative angles, so let's see whether we can generate some negative angles here. I take uh, 90 minus 360 will be too big. 270 minus 360 gives me negative 90, so I can have negative 90. I can have the 90 and the 30 and 150. The 150 here and the 30 will not generate negative angles that fit within that interval there. On this particular one, you, the, uh, we guided here, first of all, you must show that this equation can be reduced to an equation uh, that is a zero product. So the cosine of 2x, that is a um, identity, a compound angle identity, 1 minus uh, 2 sine squared x, I can get a, a, the 1s can cancel, and I get 2 sine squared x plus sine x is equal to zero. Take out a common factor sine x is equal to 2 sine x plus 1, and that is actually what we were required to prove. Next, we want to solve the equation. So we want to solve that equation so we can use this zero product here. So sine x can be equal to zero, and sine x can be negative a half. Sine is zero at zero degrees and 180. I want the general solution. So I add the generating term k times 360 k times 360 and remember k is the element of the integers sine x is equal to negative a half reference angle is 30 sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrant so 180 plus 30 is 210 360 minus 30 is 330 i add the generating term to each of the angles and that will be my general solution consider this one we also, in this particular one here, let's go through that. You can see that uh, uh, we'll have to use an identity. So we'll use the identity for cosine of 2 theta. Cosine of 2 theta, because I've got sines, convert this using the sine version, 1 minus 2 sine squared. I simplify that, I end up with a trinomial, I can factorize the trinomial. Each factor can be equal to 0. For this one here, I get the reference angle of 30. Sine x is equal to 3, but that's not possible. So there's no solution there. Uh, where's sine negative? Sine is negative in the third and the fourth. 180 plus 30 is 210. 360 minus 30 is 330. And I just add my generating term so I can get my general solution there. There's the general solution. Let's look at another one here. Yeah? 2 sine 2x plus 3 sine x, I can't factorize, so I use an identity. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. I expand there, and then I can take, a, now I can factorize that. Sine x takes sine x out as a common factor. I end up with 4 cos x plus 3. Sine x can be 0, or cosine x can be negative 3 quarters. Sine is 0 at 0 degrees and 180. I want a general solution. I add the generating term plus k times 360 plus k times 360. k is the element of the integers. Uh, yeah, I find the reference angle of 41,41. Cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant, so it's 180 minus that, which gives me 138,59. It's 180 plus that's 221,41. And I add my generating term k360 and then just maybe you can even repeat it again. K is the element of the integers there. Let's consider this one. There's the solution. They just briefly discuss the solution. Again, here yeah, I've got a zero, so I uh, the only thing I can do here is to use an identity. Identity for cos 2x is, and here I'm going to use cosine because you have a cosine there. So I use the cosine version, end up with a trinomial, which I factorize. Each factor can be equal to zero. From the first one, I get a reference angle of 30. Cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So 180 minus 60 is 120. 180 plus 60 is 240. And um, we want a specific solution. The 120 is valid, but not the 240. The other one, cosine x equal to 4, that's not possible. So there's no solution for this from this um, 
zero factor that I obtained there. Now let's generate some negative angles. 240 minus 360 gives me negative 120. 120, that's possible. And 120 subtract 360 give me negative, and this is outside. So the only two angles that will be uh, valid here would be 120 degrees and negative 120. So there's my solution set. For sine x plus 2 cosine 2x is equal to 2. I can then use the identity for cosine 2x, but because I have sine, I took, take the sine version. I expand that, and there I get uh, two terms. We can take out 4 sine x as a common factor. So sine x can be 0, or sine x can be equal to 1. Sine x is 0 at 0 degrees and 180. I write the general solution there. For 1, the uh, reference angle is 90, and I can just add... Um, 360, so it's 90 plus 360. Let's look at the following one here. Sine x minus 30 equal to 2 sine x. I cannot use the co-ratio, so I'm going to use the identity for cosine x minus 30. I expand that. 30 is a special angle. I put this, the, the values in the from this for the special angle uh, ratios there i then simplify by multiplying both sides by the denominator of two i divide both sides by a cosine so this becomes tangent right so tangent of x is root three over three finding the reference angle it's exactly 30 because i want a general solution i only have to take the first or the second in this case it's the first so it's 30 degrees plus the generating term k times 180 K is an element of Z. Let's consider this one. This one is done in two parts there. Uh, first of all, we must show that this equation can be reduced to this tangent form. Um, I cannot, don't, not going to use my co-ratio, but I'm going to expand the sine X plus 60. 60 is a special angle. So cosine of 60 is half. Sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Simplify by multiplying everything by the common denominator of 2, and I get that expression. There are some like terms, so I bring all the cosines over, and then I get negative cosine x, root 3 plus 4. I divide both sides by a cosine. Sine of a cosine is tangent, and um, here I've got cosine there. Cosine x over cosine x divides, so I end up with negative 4 subtract root 3, which is exactly what we want there. Now, let's get the solution. Right? So, we, and so instead of solving this equation, we can just solve the equation 10 x equal to negative 4 minus root 3. I get the reference angle, which is 80,1. Remember, you'll find the positive value, which is 4 plus root 3. Tangent is negative in the second quadrant, so that's 99,9. I want, uh, I want it in the interval, so the 99 fits in that interval, and I want to find one other angle, so that will be, what's the period? 180, so it's 99,9 minus 180, which gives me negative 80,1, and the other one there is 99,9. Now let's look at uh, question number 16. Again, there we first have to simplify that expression. I see I've got sine, cosine, cosine, sine, 2x plus 40 and 2x, where we've got the same angle there, x plus 30, x plus 30. I can then use uh, the compound uh, angle identity. So because I have a subtraction, it's the one angle minus the other angle. 2x minus x is x, 40 subtract 30 is 10. So that's a simplified version of that uh, equation there. Now we want to solve it. Uh, sine x plus 10 is equal to this sine is equal to uh, x plus 10 equal to 0 at 0 degrees or at 180. So x plus 10 is 0 plus k times 360. Bring the 10 over, I get negative 10 plus k times 360. Here again, I bring the 10 over, it gives me 170 plus k times 360. And I don't forget to, to write in the K is the element of the integers. Let's look at this one. 
it's a bit similar. I've got sine, cosine, sine, cosine, x plus 25, x plus 25, 15, 15. When I've got sine, cos, if there's su uh, subtraction, it's going to be the difference of the two angles. The one angle is x plus 25, the other angle is 15, right? And there's a difference. 25 minus 15 gives me 10, and tangent of 165 is actually negative tangent of 15, and tangent of 15 gives me 2 minus root 3. Now, um, we want to find the reference angle, so the reference angle for that is 15,54. Tangent is negative. I want a general solution. Tangent is negative in the third quadrant or in the... Uh, sorry, sine is negative in the third quadrant or the fourth quadrant. So I will have uh, 180 plus 15,54, which is 195,54, or 360 minus 15,54, which is 344,46. I transpose the 10, which gives me 185,54. Transpose the 10 gives me 344,46. And I've got my generating terms here, plus k times 360, k times 360. And k is the element of the integral. I trust that uh, these uh, solutions are now clear to you and you can check your uh, solutions with the ones I provided. Uh, please, if you uh, would like, there are other videos on CAPS uh, mathematics that I've prepared and solutions of all of them like these ones are all available uh, on YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. Uh, Maths with Armin is my uh, channel name. And um, I really hope you benefited from this video there. Until next time, thank you.